This posture is bad because it is unstable. To correct it, concentrate your spirit in the single spot in the lower abdomen and think hard that your opponent's strength is flowing there too. You will then be as stable as a rock. Even should your opponent move you, you need only walk away. Complete master of your own actions. Do not pull your right arm. Instead, making the flow of your strength agree in direction with his and drawing a large circle with your index finger. Lead your opponent around. After you first lower your hand, raise it again. And continuing the circular movement and pointing your finger at your opponent's forehead, force him over backward. This is a basic move in leading your opponent. Do not throw him. Help him to fall. A few words of explanation about the use of key. If you simply hold the stick, this happens. If, however, you concentrate on sending your strength to the tip of the stick, your partner cannot push it toward you. The same is true of your wrist. When your strength is flowing to it, your opponent's power has no effect. Only when you have mastered this theory and its practice can you successfully lead an opponent. Use of the feet. will get you nowhere. Use this technique to lead and down an opponent who has moved to you for an attack. Katate tori koten gaeshi. cannot force his arm back, but if you hold his left hand, extend it this way, and make a small circle in the direction of his fingertips, you will be able to move it because you are following the direction of his key. Katate tori shiho nage. Here again, force is useless. The secret is to make your strength and his flow in the same direction. When that happens, turn and throw him. The throw will be easy, no matter how strong your opponent. If you move his hand directly downward, in the direction of his own flow of key. Since this is a ten con version, you must pivot behind your opponent before you throw him. Katate tori kaiten nage. In practice sessions, we allow opponents to seize parts of the body, but in actual combat, they seldom have enough time to do so. Katate tori ikkyo. Tori Jiu Waza or free techniques. Ryote Tori Tenchinage. The name derives from the positions of the hands. The right raised as if supporting the heavens. Ten and the left turned down as if pressing on the earth, chi.
partner has immobilized both your wrists, move whatever part of your arm is still free and lead him into a throw. The first of the tenchinage shown was an irimi version. The second, a tenkan version. All Aikido techniques are divided into these two major categories. In the irimi, you throw an opponent headed toward you without changing the direction of your own body. In the tenkan, on the other hand, you first pivot from your opponent's line of attack and then throw him. If you try to force your opponent's hand back, you will find it too heavy to move. The secret is to extend it slightly first and then to push it. In the left hand movements of the Tenchinage, also extend his arm first. Do not try to force it. Take up all the slack in the towel first, then pull it, and your opponent will move forward with it. here is the same. Extend his arm to the foo. Turn your hips a little further and he will follow. Once his arm is outstretched fully, he will fall without your pulling him any further. Ryote tori shiho nage. three techniques. The move is from the hip first, not from the left shoulder. Correctly retracting the right foot is very important. hand before he can seize your shoulder. Ikkyo free techniques. 